Gorilla Com going 10 8. Okay, let's put this thing together. So, as you've seen from the last video, I had pretty much a good little rat's nest of uh, wires going on here. So, I'm going to dress that up, compact it a little bit more, and uh, try to fit all this stuff inside this uh, ammo can here. So, I'm just using regular wire strippers here, a crimper. And I got some fuses here to protect uh, the equipment. And a whole bunch of uh, buck connectors. And these guys here, they're, you can find them anywhere. Uh, Home Depot, the uh, hardware box stores, uh, automotive stores. You'll see these connections in the automotive stores. And uh, I kind of like using this stuff because it's, it's available everywhere where uh, power poles where which is there's nothing wrong with power poles they're, they're actually really really good but they're kind of a specialized item you have to order them or something if you don't have a a hobby store or, or one of those stores around you so I kinda like to use just a regular run-of-the-mill uh, splicing buck connectors uh, that that's available everywhere so here are the guts of the uh, ammo box got the portable repeater and I have it in this uh, Ziploc bag to insulate it from the weather, uh, moisture, and also to insulate it from shorts or whatever. Same thing with the radio. Both power is paralleled into the output of the uh, charge controller, the load part of it. And I have that out of the uh, box here because this is pretty bulky. So I'm just going to put it in this Ziploc bag and stuff it into that compartment into the... Uh, ammo box there and provide some some sort of protection on the final build I would have uh, a thicker mill uh, bag for protection but this is a prototype it's going to be up there temporarily so it's all fused all three lines this line here the uh, the line going to the battery to maintain the battery and also uh, the solar panel and the solar panel, the fuse is located right here at the source. You want the fuse to be located as close to the source as possible. Just six lines there for three other devices. Solar panel, battery, and then the two devices to be powered up. So here on the ammo box, we're going to do a little bit of modifications. Uh, there's two routes that you could go. On a prior project, I had this here and I actually mounted an NMO mount onto the top side of the lid uh, of this one here and with this configuration you could totally use whatever antenna that's in the market out there that could accept it which is a good majority of them and you just screw this on there change the antennas whenever you want and pretty much that's what it'll look like right there just to prove that it's actually on there and that's a pretty good little go kit that you that you can use but since my battery is a little bit longer uh, and the terminals are not on top they're on the side or when you put the battery in here it's orientated where the battery is needs the box needs to be in this configuration here uh, for, for it to work properly I do not want to store the or, or deploy this on its side the battery will be on its side if I deploy it this way so my I'm actually going to deploy it this way and put the antenna smack in the middle of this ammo box right down here the only problem about using the top lid of an ammo box is is that uh, it's double layered you got the one plate on the outside then you have a secondary plate on the inside so you're actually drilling through two, two layers of steel and I already burned through two of these in my last project to get through this sucker right here. And as you can see on the other side there, but in this configuration, this is another type of antenna. The cable is built into the base mount itself and sealed and soldered directly onto the coil that's inside here and is one seamless uh, construction and this type of antenna is mainly used for like bulldozers or for bodies that have a thicker 
body. But anyway, I chose this because it was more of a sealed sort of construction. So, and it's what I had. So this antenna will look like this antenna here. Like I've said before, I'm going to use the GMRS service. And this antenna here is two antennas in one. It's called a collinear antenna. So from this point to this point is one half wave dipole in the UHF band. And then from this point to this point is another, another half wave dipole for the UHF band. And this is just a uh, coil in between so uh, the currents will be out of phase of each other. Because if it's just one single strand right there, it's going to make it into a full wave uh, dipole and, and that just cancels itself out what you want is a halfway dipole anyway that's just a the background on that and uh, and this this configuration is pretty much one antenna on top of the other and what this does is it would increase your gain or flatten out your your radiation pattern so it'll cast out longer so your balloon your balloon here that you'll see of your radiation uh, energy will be flattened out like a pancake and spread out farther into the horizon so that's what I want I want that far reaching uh, effect so this they say is a no ground plane uh, antenna and it's 5 dBs of gain so, so for this kind of uh, antenna mount or the base here as you can see you got the hole in the middle for the cable and then you have these three holes out here to secure the whole assembly. And then you have a, a rubber washer here to make it totally waterproof in this junction here. And underneath, I've used a uh, half inch uh, nuts and bolts there. And I have about an inch clearance between the top of the battery and to the top of the uh, nut or the screw that you see in there. So I have plenty of room uh, for that to clear whatever uh, obstacles that it may pose in there. So I'm good to go there. And the cable is not kinked uh, terribly much, so that is awesome right there. That, right there. that little gap there is pretty much the gap you'll see inside uh, the headliner if you're mounting this in a vehicle. As far as the uh, antenna mount here. Okay, let's assemble it. Power on. Shove the controller board in there. There's a simplex repeater. Connect the antenna. Stick the whip to it. So, so far, this is your working package there. This is going to be permanent on here. the deploy position of it and later on I have to tune the antenna to make sure I get the best performance out of this one thing on the power connection here to the solar panel I sort of mix match them apart so uh, there's only going to be just one way to hook this up got a male end here and a female end here and on the other end is going to be the same way as well so if I had like two males on here or two females might have a chance of crossing the lines and shorting stuff out so this will prevent that from happening especially at night if you're going to deploy this at night so there it is guys the fully assembled uh, equipment there from start to finish 
Here's the uh, radio box right there with the uh, high gain collinear antenna, 5 dBs of gain. And there's a solar 20 watt solar panel to power this whole unit up during sunny time. I'm going to do a 360 walk around. I'm going to build some sort of 90 degree bracket for that or 45 degree bracket uh, for this. So this is just temporary. This here I still have to do a little bit of more weatherproofing. Some, a little bit of silicone uh, sealant. Especially around this area here where the power cable comes in. Uh, I'm going to put a grommet there plus uh, silicone on top of that. Including this connection here, uh, I will uh, seal this up to waterproof it as well. This, I made this uh, connection here so I could build a customized uh, extension to this if this has to go a little bit farther distance. Uh, it, this thing is pretty solid. So this Simplex Repeater Radio Go Box with the uh, biggest battery that I could fit into this ammo can weighs in at, we're looking at 28.2 pounds. And this battery could go up to 24 hours, but it's degraded, so actually it's gonna last for 12 hours if you use one amp per hour, which is a lot of juice still in its own. But uh, we'll test that out. I'm gonna put this in the semi-urban area uh, to check the capabilities of it, but I'm gonna do it without the solar panel. It doesn't need to be hooked up. It's not gonna be deployed for long. Uh, that will be deployed up in the sticks up here. But uh, there it is. Poor man's Simplex repeater on the GMRS radio service. Along with the weatherproofing, uh, I'm going to camouflage this a little bit more as well. I'm going to give the box a bit, a bit more of a paint job, including the uh, antenna base and the antenna itself, including this little sore thumb that's going to stick out. Uh, that's going to be painted over as well. And I'm going to have some fun with that and see how it works. Gorilla Com going 10-10.